the eternal generation of the sun, also known as the eternal begetting of the sun. The, the church fathers, in fact, this was the position of all historic Orthodox Christian believers. When I say Orthodox, I'm not talking about Orthodox Church. I'm talking about those who held to historic Christian beliefs. Christians throughout the centuries, up until modern times, all affirm the eternal begetting, the eternal generation of the Son. According to the Holy Scriptures, and this is what the Church Fathers discovered, and they were right. This is a biblical teaching. The Father is the source of deity, what they call the fountainhead of the divine essence. What do I mean by that? If you ask me the divine nature, where does it originate from? It originates from the person of the Father. The Father, He is the source of that divine nature that the Son and the Spirit eternally partake of. It's the Father's nature that the Son and the Spirit fully, perfectly, mm -hmm. eternally share in. Because they're one with the Father, inseparable from Him. So this language was meant to show that the Father is the source of deity from which the Son and the Spirit derive their deity in an eternal inseparable relationship we do not say in the Trinity uh, eternal generation I agree with you I don't accept origin he was a heretic but we say Jesus as the Son of God the second person of the Trinity known as the word or any other thing he alone is the second person and is part of the Godhead